Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Kind of losing my voice again. Too much vaping. It's got to be the vape. Plus, I've been on the phone a lot. Anyways, I have an idea what this one is out of New Jersey. You know, jump through the hoops, contact Facebook, send phone number, call you up and talk a little bit. Tell me what's up, send it to me. Here it is. We got some packages from UPS, but no post office or FedEx to me. So let's get this thing open and take a look. Oh, this is a textbook tune, by the way. I've seen a lot of this guy's work. He's not a hack. By no means. So let's see what, see what it does. That was almost some bad voodoo. One of my little legs came loose there for a second on the tripod. Imagine that. Alright. These aren't for everybody. These two do take a little bit of TLC to make these, the N4s, N2s, and all the bigger radios. Usually textbook don't cut it. drive. The meter is not working on transmit. I have to, I have been told I'm off frequency. I run this radio with a TNT 1200 HD AM and was putting out about 850 watts. Would like a switch installed to turn the amp off if possible and recommend it. Yes, we'll do that. This radio was last tuned by DTB Radio and PA while it was on there. The starlight was replaced. Any modifications, upgrades, you would recommend you can always contact me through Facebook or by email okay that's why I like you guys doing this please please put your phone number on the letter guys and the box obviously you had someone package this for you I can tell by the label it makes my job just so much easier with your phone number on the outside of the box your address 
there's just too many reasons to list. I'm not going to put out your phone number. I'm not going to call you to bug you. Yeah, I'll give you that. Well, you know what I do? When you guys get calls, you know, I don't know how many thousands of numbers this holds, but it's up there. I, uh, you know, go like this, go like that, and I just go like this. It just keeps going. And I pick a number and I go like this. Because <coughs> almost everybody in here is a customer. And I, it's what I do. Hey, how's everything working today? How's it going? So when you get calls from me, I, I do try to do the follow-ups. It's to the point it's really hard to keep up with everybody. Or if I see on Facebook making comments, it reminds me, okay, you got this radio, that radio. But I'm, I'll be honest, I can't remember everybody's name and everything that you got anymore. And again, please put your phone number on the paper. It just helps me keep track of everything. Like right now, if I needed to call you, I can call you. All right, so well, let's get everything in view here. You'd want it the same way. Oop, that's a problem. That's broken. It could be loose. That's a pain in the ass to replace those. It really is. We got power, 20. Dial straight up. Yes, on frequency according to this counter. And yes, these are counters in these radios. Too bad it's only a five-digit counter. That is a counter. Like the Rangers, a lot of other radios, they're displays. That's a counter. Hope everybody had a good day today. Rain like hell down here last night, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Sitting here working, had to disconnect the coax. Power went out 3 or 4 times, seemed like. Put the 500 in here. We're on channel 20. set this in memory one of these days. Megahertz. And again, this guy is pretty well known. He's basically a textbook guy. Definitely not a butcher. And uh, he's not a butcher. He's a really good repair guy. like typical. You know, these radios are a lot more for, for most than they know. Uh, let's see what frequency we're actually on. Yeah, these are touchy. Well, I got it dialed straight up and down. And it's going to change by temperature. But let's just take a reference. These for sideband are rough because of that. 27204481. Let's put it back in the same spot. Try to. And see, now it's on. That's the problem with these. When we go back and forth again, look at it for straight up and down. I don't even look up there. I'm looking down here. Core straight, straight, straight. See how touchy? Ridiculous, ain't it? Get this out of the way. For now. Is that a better view? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go to uh, the spectrum analyzer. And... It's full power. Power all the way down. Very, very dirty. Very dirty. And that's on the load. 
units of power, but that's like textbook. That's it. Half power. Full power. That's that's a lot of power. Even though that's like textbook, that's too much. That's swinging backwards. You say, how can I tell? Well, it is. It's in the compression. See it? Or look at it like this. See how it doesn't reach the top and the bottom? It's not achieving 100% in 4 to 1. It's not doing it. Plus, it's not the scan rate. It can't even lock because of all the different frequencies. Warm. Yeah, it's getting hot quick. But how can I tell? So that's showing it's a 500. And I can feel the heat coming out already. So barely 150. You'll see it here. Watch the meter. See it? Fifty has always been too much for these. I don't care what the book says for me. Okay, let's let that cool down a little bit. Let's take a look over here. Our gain wide open, squelch off. That's dangerous there. Okay. We're seeing halfway okay. All right. Now let's take a look inside. Get this out of here before it breaks. One thing I know about when I open one of David's radios, they're not butchered. You don't have to replace the AMC circuit. Got a missing screw. Another reason I didn't want to be on that white list anymore, though. I don't want to be associated with stuff like this. Just a totally different caliber. All right. I'm not completely sure how many people have been in it. I do see a solder joint that's not really a solder. And that is, okay, someone's were trying to replace the first stage. And that's a pathetic solder joint. Let me see if I can get this heavy aminal up in here. That's a very bad solder joint. Let's see, where's that in the camera? Focus. See it? 
really not solder. I'm surprised it was receiving. <clears throat> Diodes look factory. It's got a broken joint. That could have been anytime, anywhere. These often break. I've got videos that also cover this on the best ways to help save these radios so they don't get beat up so bad. I'm not sure what this is yet. But I don't see any butchery anywhere. Traces ain't gouged off the board. A little update was made on the audio chip. Not the audio chip, the mic amp. Some work here. A little bit of Visari. <coughs> Possibly a regulator change. Solder job looks factory on the finals. I'm not owner, I'm not so sure how long you had it, but those are still kind of loose. Back out a little bit. Filter. Ugh. I'm glad you got it in here. This is a nightmare. I got other videos too covering this and how the wires should not get put on top of the transformer. That can short out and melt the hell out of these wires. All it takes is this radio hitting bumps and this transformer hits this. There's proper tolerance and clearance between this transformer and the amp when there's no wires in between. So that's some, I don't know if it's been, all the zip ties been clipped. But this does look a little bit different. I see missing zip ties here. That's probably when the face was replaced. These wires look a little bit different. And that could actually be some of the audio problems. There's a number of problems here. We'll get to that here in a minute. We've seen all the distortion and audio on the scope. We'll fire it up here in a minute again. Looks like biasing and or gate voltages you can see them were adjusted in the neutral just like turned in a neutral position which in that respect is usually fairly close the coils are slightly spread apart not much very little and again he's not a butcher this is a pain though replacing these that's broken it's not broken off the back of the board solder joints. The plastic is broken. Uh, you can see that. See it missing? Broken. On these radios, it gets even worse on these because you just can't unsolder that, take it out, stick another one in due to this the part of the housing of this jack for the external speaker because it's insulated from ground the plastic sticks out the back of the hole so you just can't stick one straight down because it, it doesn't fit that way so you gotta remove either the entire board or one side of it it's the best way is to remove the board that's the pain in the ass about these about replacing these the best way so you don't put any kind of stress on any other component you got to remove the board. It goes in a certain way, it comes out a certain way, you know, type of thing. So, it does have a different audio chip or first amp mic amp that we noticed that uh, the soldering joints weren't hardly soldered. So you know what? Let's see if I can get the camera in there. And focus. So if you're having some receive issues on and off every now and then, it'd be obvious.
see it? Obvious. Try to take a picture of that. Alrighty then. How many minutes are we in? 20 minutes. So, let's check this real quick. Anyway, my camera stopped recording at 23 minutes. Hard to believe it's 23 minutes into the video already. So, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Bring it back up again. driver we're looking at 4.29 volts first one 4.75 and 4.6 that's pretty hot very amp Three point nine on that bank and three point nine one one on this bank. Now we can almost tell if it, they're like not match but close by checking just a couple of them. Yeah, they're they're not bad. The amp's gonna be just fine. Looks like I'm coming up on twenty two minutes twenty one seconds. Anyways, you're looking at like a factory tune, okay. Most of the power is not at the fundamental frequency. It might sound okay, sound pretty clear, but won't have much range. It's not butchered, not hacked on. It works. We're gonna take care of it. I hope everybody has a great day today. 163 down by the Rio Grande. We're out of here. Click, click.